Yeah, no, no, I have not one competitive cell left in my body. <laughs> I'm retired. I mean, I sometimes like when I drive to school with the kids, I ye not yell, but I like sort of like yell up and say, easy, easy. <laughs> Dad, it's not a racing horse. I'm retired, you know. So take it easy, please, on me. No, no, I, I, I don't want to suffer anymore. I did everything. I squeezed everything out of me. I do not want to. So I'm not going to do a triathlon and all that. No, 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 no. I go fishing. <laughs> I go fishing, or I sit in front of my fire. No, okay, I don't have a fireplace yet. I will have one eventually. So I want to be sitting there and watching the fire. Yeah. Actually, just to make you laugh again, uh, my dad, who is full of uh, wisdom, and once, one time he said, you know, son, there's three things in life all people love to watch, independently from their religion, from their beliefs, from their uh, culture they're from. I said, so dad, what is that? He said, Rainbows, waterfalls, and other people working. <laughs> I know, but it's so true. <laughs> other people working. I was laughing so hard. I think actually it was in the garden when my dad made my brother and me work in the garden, and dad was just sitting there and watching us. Yeah. And he said, hey, yeah, come and join us. And then he actually explained us why he was sitting there and watching us working. <laughs> so we only had good experiences here. I mean, Peter Sagan's has to become a superstar. Here. Started here. That's yeah. right. That one year when he won like four out of the six stages. That was here that year. Where we would came he be up here. Yeah. 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 I know. I know. So, um, so um, 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 yeah, definitely you want to come back. I mean, it's a beautiful space. Uh, it's spectacular. Yeah, it's the landscape, you know, on a day like this with some sunshine, blue sky, you don't find many more. More beautiful places than this. Yeah. yeah, no, absolutely. I mean, I was there. It's a lot of time to come up here. Oh man, I remember myself, you know, when you come up there after each switch, I go, it's gotta be flattening out after this. <laughs> Another switch, you go, oh, it's gotta be flat. Just around the next corner, it's gonna be flat. It's gonna go downhill. Man, it's a lot of climbing to come up here. Not killer steep, but just never endlessly, ends. like all the time. And we kept losing riders, like boop, 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 boop. people were getting dropped. We came up here with, I think, 25 guys left out of 150 starters. Or 100, whatever, 140 starters. It's, it's, it's good, it's tough racing. Are you going to do television commentary for Tour de France again? Yes, um, so I'm going to be working for the Tour of California organization and NBC commentating during the Tour of California. And again for the Tour de France. So yeah, you're going to be doing both for the Tour and the NBC? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. oh. yeah. Uh, yeah we just, they just sent me the, 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 um, the booking for my flights yeah. and, and all that. Um, yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. again for NBC. Good. What do you think has got the real potential in the future? Well, I guess uh, Peter is not up and coming anymore. He's I already there. Yeah, he's yeah. the yeah. yeah. world yeah. champion. Yeah. 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 Who's the next one? You think? Mm. I like Michael Matthews, he's still getting better and stronger, I believe, the Australian. Uh, Roman Bardet, tiny little skinny French climber. I think he has the potential to maybe one day ending up um, the top ten, uh, top three, I meant, podium place in, in the Tour de France. I'm curious about Andy Talensky. He had a good yes. yeah. coming up career, but that's sort of like last yeah. year, went a little up and down. Yeah. And like at Bendem on the first year of Tour of California, it's like, wow, where did that come from? So I think he's a little bit on an intersection now in life where he has to make a decision where he wants wants it to go. So I mean there's physically clearly the potential there. You know he just needs that things work out when the team supports him and um, he, that he got his uh, head around it. Um, I believe a young kid from our from my old team, Jasper Stirvin, to me he's nothing but a younger version of Fabian Cancellara. Yeah. Mm. He's a really, really good, uh, good writer. Jasper, what's his last name? Jasper Sturven. Sturven. S T U Y V E N. Belgium. Belgium. Yeah. Mm. He won a race with like a 40 kilometer solo break, uh, Barigam maybe this year. Then total like Fabian style. He's good yeah. in um, keeping his space in the peloton, moving up, good bike handling. He, he's a really good rider. What I miss is the fitness, the feeling of being unbeatable, being able to take on the world and being invincible. I mean, many years my life, my job was not to be normal. My job was not to be human. And now lowering the expectations on you to 
become a mere mortal. That was hard to accept. I mean, uh, you know, my last event on the bike was the, hour, the World Hour Record. And then after all that excitement, you know, getting the certificate from the UCI, you the World Hour Record holder and so on. And at press conference, my parents, my family is there. And then I go to my room and shower. You know, after all that, I mean, obviously you, you're naked when you're in the shower. So I'm just looking at myself, tower around my hips, and look at myself in the mirror and go, like, that's it? It's all downhill from here. I will never be here. <laughs> I'm just going to get older, fatter, weaker, and slower. But it was really, really hard to take. You know, I, I knew I'm never going to be that skinny and strong again. And that was the, the one thing I really struggled with in retirement. But it's not that bad, am I? Well, it, it, it is hard that you cannot do the things you did before, you know, of course I can up, go up this climb and you go, Phew, no I can't anymore. So it's, you know, it's like you still have the expectations on yourself, but your body doesn't follow anymore. Right up. So that's, that, that was the biggest challenge for me, to missing the fitness or missing the friendship, the camaraderie with the boys being together. Yeah, yeah. The training is a good part, it was always good fun, yeah. but I do not miss the racing, the suffering, the fear of crashing. Yeah, with riding all the wet days, yeah. racing the wet. Yeah.